some detractors could say, well, you know, I'm sick and tired of people sitting around tables talking, and I'm wondering, you know, like, you would hear that a lot, particularly from some people that probably weren't here today. So I'm wondering, for, for people with that type of mindset, would, would you be able to defend the value of having, because at the end of the day, you're never going to get to that change after a day. So, you know, what is, what is the defense of having a process like this? I think one of the keys that we honed in on today was trust. And I think building trust takes time. It takes coming around to the discussions over and over again so that we can get everybody's ideas on the table, that we can reflect, that we can go away and talk to our own folks, and then bring those things back. So I think it's important that we keep talking about what's standing in the way of change. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, some of the takeaways that you have from today's discussions? I'm, I'm sure you were with uh, multi-stakeholders uh, around the table. Um, was there anything that maybe you hadn't heard before or anything that might have um, influenced you to think a little differently about some of the challenges that we have in education? I don't know that I heard anything I hadn't heard before, but I heard it from different people this time. So it was an opportunity for me to hear a little bit about the First Nations perspective. It was an opportunity to have Francophones and Anglophones around the same table talking about challenges. Um, oftentimes we, we have discussions but there, there's still, there aren't enough stakeholders. At this event every stakeholder was there. There was a good student voice, there was good parent voice, uh, certainly lots of educators, and the private sector was there. So I really felt that it was a dynamic discussion. Um, what message would you have? Because I mean, we're going across Canada and asking these questions. And I'm wondering, I know that, uh, you know, you're, you're a parent and you've been involved with that capacity and advocacy, and you've certainly been involved in the governance level, and you're certainly uh, engaged. And, and not everyone maybe knows how to get as engaged as you are. And I'm wondering, uh, you know, you're, you, like you say, as a change agent, but uh, you know, what message would you have for other parents and other sort of uh, folks that are a little less within the administrative uh, ends of things to how, how they can get involved in their own way uh, in pushing the change agenda? Well, I'm a big advocate of social media. And to be honest, I think that's a good way for parents to get involved. I've met parents straight across Canada who are advocating for change. And we all have something in common in that we want better student learning. And it's important for New Brunswickers to be looking at what's happening across, across Canada. And it's important for us to have discussions with people we've never met face to face. So if there is a parent out there who wants to get involved, I'd say go to the CEA website, check out uh, the, the resources that are there, follow the Twitter feed and start getting involved in some of the conversations. Last question, uh, you know, this whole uh, event is based on what's standing in the way of change. Do you have one answer for that, uh, that you maybe came in with, that you've kept a hold of? You know, if someone to ask you one thing that's standing in the way of change, what would you say? lack of trust. It still comes back to the fact we have to be willing to wrap our decisions around what's best for students rather than what's best for parents or what's best for teachers or what's best for the adults making the decisions. We need to get to build relationships and build trust so that we make sure all of the change reflects what's best for students.